so much thank you so much dr ashley um first i just want to thank all the participants and everyone that is here and i'm just excited and i apologize i didn't realize to deep into worship that um that uh, maybe the screen froze and so i pray that everyone was still blessed um, by worship and so we hear um, that term all the time during church, praise and worship, or she's a worshiper, she's a worship leader. And um, we, sometimes I know that people get confused with or just don't understand that worship is also, it's more than a song. So it will start with your daily lifestyle. So as you're going throughout your day, as you're um, living according to the word, that's where your worship starts. And so just know that um, when you hear the term worship, don't get turned off and thinking, oh, I can't sing like that. I can't pray like that. I can't get before the people like that and worship God because if you're living your life according to the word of God and loving him and doing your best and um, living according to his word, then you're already worshiping God. So thank God for being able to make things simple for us as with the world, we um, get caught up in different things, but you are worshiping God in your daily life. So um, what is worship? I like to sum it up and a definition of first like worship is putting God first in every aspect of our lives. And so once again, it's not just a song, it's not what happens um, during a church service. Yes, those are expressions of our worship to God. And we wanna make sure that uh, we are incorporating that as well. And what makes worship so uh, just important and just so unique and so special is this is what worship is what only we can give to God. That's what he asks of us is to worship him. And that's the only thing when we pray, it's for us. It's our connection. It's for us to speak to God. Um, when he, you, he blesses us and that that's for us, but worship is what we can give to God. And I'm excited about that because as a human, as knowing that I am nothing without God, please take all that I can give you because you are just worthy. And I am, I am just grateful of you being in my life and being saved and just knowing who you are. So I like to think of it as an opportunity to just give God something, even though he's given us so much and we can never, you know, match what he's given us, but we can give him our worship and he is pleased with that. He is smiling with that when he gets our worship. And so uh, we also want to, when we put Christ first, you will notice that your, your worship will begin to flow. And once again, that's with your daily lifestyle. So we often hear John 4 and 24, um, which says God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit in truth. And so what, what does that even mean? Okay, so God is a spirit, they that worship him. I, I'm, I wanna be a worshiper. I wanna give God um, what he asks of me. I wanna give God what pleases him, but they must worship him in spirit and in truth. So to connect it, when we get before Jesus and usually it's, uh, um, if, we, if we think about songs and what they're saying, we tell Jesus that we honor him. We tell him that we love him. We tell him, God, I, I worship you. God, I praise you. We, we say these things and that helps us to connect to his spirit. And then when we actually do those things, that is the truth component, I believe. And so when we say, Jesus, I, I love you. And so how do we portray that? By getting in the word and, and doing and living according to the word. That, that is how I express my love for Jesus. If we think about our daily, our relationships with, with people, um, 
the people that we love, we would, we would do anything for them. And so same thing, Jesus, my heavenly father, I love you. So what is it that you would want from me? I am going to do it. And that is a, a component of our worship. Um, when we think of, about about the songs that we do sing. When um, you hear the words we said, there is no bondage. I'm, I was reminded this week in preparation when thoughts come into our mind that, oh, I'm not good enough or I can't do this. Or um, when we are, when we think about those thoughts, when we have those thoughts, we can know that when we get into our word, we have to check ourselves sometimes. And that's not, that's not what my father said about me. So yes, there is no bondage. There is no bondage. And so I am free to do and to live and to exalt Jesus how I am, how he gives me to, to do it. And so, and that means that we have to be in our word and have to know the word of God to be able to combat those things. And then when we sing those words, we can actually live them and believe in ourselves and do what it is God called us to do. And so um, practically, how can we do that? Yes, uh, worship, we're singing songs or we're living out our daily lives, uh, pleasing to God. So how can I um, create this worship space for myself to get even closer to Jesus. And we're going to have to practically, we have to schedule him in. We're going to have to take some time out of our day and give it to Jesus and just say, okay, just like anything else, this time I'm at work, this time I'm cooking, this time I'm doing this, this time from 930 to 10, I am going to read my word. I am going to talk to Jesus. And yes, it might seem difficult or it might seem silly or it just because you there's no physical person that you're talking to but once you do it and once you get into the habit of doing it then you will be able to do it more frequently and to be able to feel more comfortable and even go even deeper and and add more time to your worship I find myself um it might seem like a little but it making up my bed after I do things I say God I thank you and it just now it just comes naturally and it's because but I really I thank you God because it could I, I could be in a different situation or things could be different or just God I just want to give you thanks because you are good and so um, we want to make sure that we schedule that time for Jesus and start off with that um, try in the morning when you first wake up before you do anything Anything else? Good morning, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you for waking me up this morning. I thank you, God, that I slept peacefully. Or if I didn't, God, uh, I thank you for being alive and just help me, God, to get through this day to where I can sleep peacefully. So we just want to be able that time to just talk to him. And that also helps us to create worship space for us when we begin to make him a more intimate part or a more integral part of our lives, we realize I can't go without him. I have to talk to him. I have to say something to him. And so, um, and I just want to continue to go, want to continue to go about our day and living a lifestyle, pleasing to God, continuing to worship God throughout the day. Um, in the Bible, we know that it says that um, we will, um, our mouth is filled with your praise, declaring your splendor all day long. That's Psalm 71 and eight. And you're like, how, how can I do that? And once again, if you are living a lifestyle pleasing to God, you are worshiping, worshiping him. You are praising him. And so we want to make sure that we just get that first piece, that integral part of just living a lifestyle that is pleasing to God and just knowing his personality and getting into relationship with him and knowing what pleases him. And that will help us um, to be able to worship him. And so um, that is what I have for worship. I am once again, thankful. And hopefully you guys will get that integral part and just taking that one step and uh, making um, worship a part of your daily lives by continuing to live for Jesus or starting to live for Jesus and 
um, just scheduling out that time for him. I said 10 minutes, it could start off with two minutes, five minutes, first thing in the day. But as you go on, you will be able to continue to see the favor of God and the blessings of God over your life.